Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's t-shirt it suddenly became summer here and I had these two products that I am reviewing from Banggood uh, which was kind enough to send these to me and I did a previous video where I tried it uh, in my creepy basement with a projector and um, kind of showed some of the features especially this one is new for me pointing uh, the, the, the mouse around and it's called an air mouse it's a uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to but it's really handy to have the mouse um, just next to the keyboard so very cool um, I have a 4k TV here at my playhouse which I have done a video on in the past but I wanted to try this little TV box which very clearly says that it's for 4k and it should also be able to handle H265 which is a uh, is an encoding codex thingy that needs a lot of processing power um, so we're gonna hook up this to the TV if you look at the background here I have another little Banggood product that I reviewed last year this is the Cinovo and it's a Windows PC so um, I'm not afraid of showing this in this video because I'm very happy with that one and I was actually asking Banggood to review another Windows 10 machine because I have had a lot of use out of this machine so um, let's go hook this up so this is my little PC that I got from Banggood last year for review and it's really cool too I have been using this uh, ever since I got it well I brought it around I've had it at home as well and I tried it out here and um, well it's really good when I am playing Friday night I'm usually here catching up on YouTube videos uh, also replying to comments laying flat on the couch um, using well a little wireless mouse and keyboard not related so let's try and unplug this and plug in this new little TV box and see if um, if it will if it could be a replacement for, for this Lenovo box which is very amusing because it's very close to Lenovo and everybody knows that I'm a big Lenovo fan so I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to reuse the power supply so I need to need to figure something else out there so this H96 Pro did of course come with a power supply but I was unfortunate to get an American one American plugs, but I do actually have a converter for that. So we are, uh, now we are able to plug that into European plugs. Awesome. So let's unplug the Cenovo. It's just an HDMI cable. Plug that in the HDMI port on the back here. There. Um, I'm gonna connect this um, over Wi Fi this time. I'm gonna take the dongle out here. This is for the, the remote control uh, and that goes in there always the last place where you look and i do believe that i have some downloaded um, films that we can test on and plug that in there and we should be up and running so that's kind of pretty well when everything is just laying around like this it's very easy if you have to go do everything from from the start it's always a bit hard remote for the TV okay to get it to work better up here of course I do have to connect to my Wi-Fi so that would be on the settings and network and I'm controlling this with the mouse uh, can you see this it's moving around as I point the mouse out. it's you don't have to point at the screen there are gyro sensors in the remote that feels what you're doing to the mouse and relating it to that if I move it out here well it will move from there and so that works really well takes a bit of getting used to and I still I stumble around a lot with this but it's uh, fun to try so I have to connect to my home network and I'm not gonna give you the password so um, be right back okay successfully connected uh, it doesn't show anything up here so uh, okay there full power cool and it immediately checked for updates up here uh, so let's um, let's go back uh, funny enough 
I also want to change the screen resolution because we were I configured this for 720p and on a 4k screen well that's not what we want we want more resolution oh I'm already there so uh, applications and there is something called droid settings I found was good for that and here I can go to display and screen resolution right there and here we get some more options uh, 4k cool we are down here uh, I don't know if let's see that one we have a picture so that's probably okay that's maximum is that maximum is there more oh we have some more 4k options down here so we where did the mouse go which there we want 4k 60 hertz there we are see if it will handle that also good okay awesome we can see up here that it's eating the clock and stuff like that so we uh, i need to go back and fix that so there is a back button here like there and we go back and we can fix the screen position reach and it should be able to i think we need to zoom out a bit so we'll zoom out everything is becoming a little bit smaller and we get the get the squares here so that's where it's good so we'll zoom in ah, yeah oh that's a hard one we're missing one so okay we'll zoom out one more so we get the total square here uh, i'm hoping that is good so let's uh, that's cool go back and everything is now on the screen there there and it now well it doesn't look much different does it i don't know if i have to reboot this can't really see the 4k resolution here i'll try and reboot it and see if uh, if it changes anything the device will shut down aye aye captain okay so the box is off I'm not sure that this remote is able to turn it on, but we'll give that a try. This is the TV, um, part claiming that it, it doesn't see anything. And they have a really nice, it's an LG TV, they have nice pictures. Power on button on the remote, it's not able to turn this one on. I have no idea if I can program that, but I have noticed that this one works. Yeah, it's, it light up, lights up blue. Oh, the, the box is outside of view. So we get a nice splash screen here. H96 Pro Plus. Thank you very much. And yeah, make your life colorful. Um, I'm afraid that my TV has a lot of reflections. So you can kind of see, you can, you can see me waving down here in the corner on the screen here. But well, it's... It's really hard to find a good angle for this today. This looks exactly like it did before, so no change there. Oh, the mouse became a lot smaller. So something did happen. Uh, my files, let's see if we can see that USB stick that I put in. There's a key there. And there are some files. Uh, oh, I believe this is a file of me. It's a 4K file, so let's try the... There is three movie players installed on it. Let's try that one. Uh, just once, let's try it. This is from recording for another video way back. Me um, checking out a lamp. But this is a 4K recording. Oh, that's so old. I still have my braces on in that video, I remember that. But it definitely runs 4K video. Uh, and we are not gonna watch me messing around with that. That's uncut footage. So <laughs> yeah, I might have cut that out in the real video. Okay, so I have been messing around with this. Um, I have used quite a bit of time to get the files, uh, my test files over so that the little box can see them. Uh, the first thing I got up and working was actually the, the Cody thing. Just see that, we have Cody. I don't know why they call it KDMC. 
Um, well, let's just open it. Yep. It's definitely a Cody um, copy, um, good or worse. Was so lucky to uh, be able to mount this up to my NAS server. Uh, I have a couple of films on there. Um, and actually, I have to mute the TV, otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. So, uh, mute TV, where are you? There. TV is muted. Deadpool has has run on everything. It's it it just runs. It's an HD film, and it uh, works very good. I have no idea what we're watching here. Apparently, it didn't like me fast forwarding to something else. It runs. It apparently doesn't slide very well. There, Deadpool. Um, Batman vs Superman is, if you watch down here in the corner, there you can see that's an SD movie, 480. It's really crappy quality. Yeah, yeah. both the resolution, the, the quality of the film and the film itself, a uh, bad movie. But The Martian up here um, is an awesome film. And I have not had a TV box yet that could play this version of The Martian. It's in 4K, it's H265 and it's encoded in 10 bit. And all the TV boxes that I've tried it on, it has been really bad. So let's try and start The Martian here. Start from the beginning. And it runs. I have never seen this smooth on any box. I'm sure I could have put it on a PC and that would have been great. Let's go forward a little bit. Here we have Matt Damon. Uh, if you haven't seen The Martian, it's a really great film. I love it a lot. Um, I haven't been able to see it up here because my version didn't work. It was unwatchable. Oh, now it's... Am I doing stuff? Yeah, it's caching somehow. This might have to do... I'm right now running it through my network. It's... The box is connected through Wi-Fi, but it's actually showing the... the film, and it's running smoothly. So, that is awesome. I'm gonna stop this, because it's trouble for that and stop again. So that was cool. I also downloaded it locally. Let's see if we can get out of this Cody thing. There. Also downloaded it locally uh, to the box and was able to play it. I, I tried, first I tried to download this MX player and that works well. runs very well uh, without the sound though let's go far forward see Matt Damon is building stuff awesome go back out try it again uh, the player comes with a player called movie player down here and there is also something called video player I haven't tried video player so let's try that one That also seems to work. It doesn't look as good, but it works. Let's stop it. Stop it and go out of it. And the last player also works. This this movie player, it also works. I have tried it. Yeah, same thing. So I want to see if I can use this for something meaningful. I would like to use this little box for video editing and of course I don't know if there is any video editing software available for an Android box but well I don't really want to change my editing software anyway but uh, what I found is that you can install a RDP client here and this is from Microsoft so if we start this I have added a remote desktop 
to my editing server out in the data center. So if you go on that one, I have just connected to it, so it was very quick. And um, well, getting to this was just as easy as um, well punching in the IP number and the, the username. Oh, that's. And I just want to show you this. This is the editing software that I use. And this is, um, I have to edit this video. This is the first video, you have probably seen that, where I got this package from Banggood. So um, let's switch the remote around here. And if we press enter, I should be talking. To me and asked if I would be so kind to show some of their products in one of my videos. And I have agreed, so they have sent me um, this TV box. So they have sent me. So I can now box. edit my films here uh, on this box. I have to stop it again. And we can kind of scroll through my footage down here. So that's not bad at all, right? That's pretty awesome. You might have already seen this. I'm not gonna show too much of it because I make a lot of stupid stuff in my videos and say dumb things. So, but I would be able to lay in the couch here and still edit my videos on an Android box and not on a Windows box. I would probably not, well, this remote is uh, very compact and well, maybe if I, if I did something and got the shot shortcut keys uh, configure and stuff I could do it but otherwise I would probably connect a mouse and a keyboard to it which I usually use and this is just my editing software this could be anything else so this Android box could really be used as a main remote desktop it's a very cheap client station I must say so all the Android boxes I have played with this is the strongest it's able to to run that film that no other box I have yet run. If you go back and watch my previous reviews of some of these boxes, I have tested that film on those boxes and it was it was some choppy crap. Uh, this one runs smoothly. So awesome thumbs up for this box, uh, which is the H96 Pro Plus, I forget. And I was also able to do remote desktop out and connect to a very powerful server and just use the box as a thin client and I would be able to install whatever Windows program on my server out there and control it from the Android box which could be a really good thing because an Android box like this I think I'll leave the links in the description to Banggood's uh, site for this box plus some other links and this box was like $66 something last time I looked. That's a really cheap client PC. Cheap enough so that when it's well outdated or you need another one, it's just and you get another one and it's more powerful and stuff like that. So I'm really excited that this works. This means that I can now bring the box home with me, connect it to the projector, lay flat on my back and edit video on my projector with the sound system. Well, I don't enjoy listening to myself that much, but I could. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and check out the links in the description. Have a nice day, bye bye.